During our news at six, we brought you the breaking news that Wake County was making Juneteenth an official holiday. New at 11, CBS 17's Amy Cutler getting answers about what this means for county employees and how much it will cost county taxpayers. Amy. Well, Angela, for county employees, it means they will get a paid holiday, meaning a paid day off, but it comes at a price. The county telling me it will cost them just over $540,000. Actual recognition and respect. Wake County commissioners taking action to clearing Juneteenth or June 19th, a paid holiday starting in 2021. This is the oldest um, nationally celebrated holiday for people of color. Um, recognizing Juneteenth is not just recognizing black history, it is recognizing American history. Commissioner Jessica Holmes spearheaded the effort. Juneteenth marks the day in 1865 when the last slaves were freed after the Civil War. A large number of our population probably doesn't have a lot of awareness about this date, so I think it's beholden uh, to us to educate People. There's also a cost associated with the new holiday. The county puts it at almost $545,000. That's for the anticipated payment to hourly employees. Wake County has had to make a lot of cuts and a lot of services. Joey Stansbury with the Wake Citizens Coalition says now is not the time for the county to be spending any more money. I brought those concerns to home. The fact that we have never recognized Juneteenth. Um, doesn't mean that we should not have previously recognized Juneteenth. In a separate resolution, commissioners also declared racism a public health crisis. That allows them to free up resources to combat it. Commissioner Holmes telling me she has plenty of ideas of how to spend that money to help the community, to help the county. Meantime, the city of Raleigh is expected to take up making Juneteenth a city holiday. That is expected to happen at the city council meeting tomorrow. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. All right, Amy, thank you. And we want to know your thoughts. We're asking this poll question tonight. Do you support making Juneteenth a paid holiday? And the majority of you right now saying no with 64%. Now, you can go ahead and vote on the CBS 17 News app. You can also check those results throughout the evening in real time.